Hello, this is Francisco Cribari and um, I want to share a recent development with you. This computer here is a Dell XPS 13 notebook, the 2015 the model, the 9343 model, the 9343 model. And up until recently, I was running Manharo KDE on this notebook. I'm still running Manharo KDE on my other two notebooks. But on this particular notebook, I recently switched to K-Revenge. So let me show you K-Revenge. K-Revenge is uh, an arch base distro. You can see here that I'm running the Arch kernel and I have the Arch uh, repositories and so on. KRevenge adds an extra repository, the Revenge repository, but other than that um, I'm able to use the standard Arch repositories. And let me show you their web page. You can go to obrevenge.we eblycom weebly.com or something to that effect and this is the main page for OB Revenge OB Revenge is an arch derivative that runs open box I actually ran OB Revenge for a couple of months a while ago when it first came out but I I gave up because open box is not my thing. It's, it's excellent, but it's just not my style. I kind of like uh, KDE Plasma. So, yeah. But I ran OB Revenge for a while. And all these distros are developed by a single person. And his name is, uh, I believe, uh, Jody James and there is this Google Plus community here and it's what he, he has been doing is actually quite impressive and uh, he first released K Rev uh, sorry he first released OB Revenge and then I believe uh, uh, Mate Revenge that uses the Mate desktop environment and more recently K Revenge which uses the KDE Plasma desktop environment and since I like KDE Plasma a lot I decided to give it a try and uh, it's um, actually an impressive distro if you go here to the their web page you see you will find a link here to Mate Revenge and also a link to K Revenge if you click on K Revenge and then you will find some info on K Revenge, and uh, let me show you something here. I, I customize it a bit, a little bit to my taste with this dock here. It uh, comes standard with this top uh, panel, um, and it uh, has some revenge tools, which is really nice. When you first log in, you are greeted with this um, K Revenge welcome here and um, it's actually quite nice you can update your system join the Google Plus community install NVIDIA drivers if that's the case um, install or uninstall VirtualBox modules and um, there is uh, this software installation tool here which you can also access here Revenge, let me see here um, Revenge Software Tool okay, Revenge Software Tool that you can use to install some programs which is really nice you can select which programs you want to install <coughs> I have already installed several of them mostly by command line I did not use this um, this um, graphical user interface here but it's actually very nice 
I have only a minor suggestion as far as this um, graphical user interface goes. You see here there is an, a tab called Internet with options for some internet related programs, media, and um, office. No? And there are some very nice things. You see that um, you can install Google Chrome from here. Indeed, Google Chrome and some of, of the other programs are available from the Revenge Extra repository. You don't need to install them from the AUR. And if you look here at media, you will find Spotify. You can install Spotify from here, which is really nice. Clementine, which that's um, the software that I use to listen to music, and uh, GIMP, and so on. I have only a minor suggestion uh, here. Let me try to install some something here. Uh, let me install internet. Let me try to install something here. Let me pick something. Uh, Midori. Let me install Cupzilla. Cupzilla is um, a lightweight browser based on Qt. Let me try to install that. And um, my only suggestion is it will open a window here. I would like to see a progress bar and also uh, an option to click on something. It would open an integrated uh, uh, small terminal and it will show us what it's doing behind the scenes. But mostly a progress bar. Let me click here, Capzilla, install selected packages. And it's updating here. You see the database. It gives us this message here saying that granted permissions without asking for password and so on. And let me close that. It will update the database. It will, it will install the software. You see it's installing. And there is no progress bar here. You it just tells you, you that's installing packages. You, you are not told anything about uh, progress, which uh, <coughs> I, I only installed one software, but if I were installing a bunch of uh, programs over a slow co internet connection, then a progress bar would be quite useful. So my suggestion is, would be to add a progress bar here and that would be quite helpful. And this is very nice. And there are some other revenge tools here that are useful. Let me come here. Revenge tools. Revenge tools. There is a K Revenge Live uh, USB creator which is nice if you want to create uh, a USB flash drive. But let me show you here. Revenge. <coughs> K-Revenge tools. Then you have all these tools here. Kernel manager. You can choose which kernel you want to, to install. Linux the LTS uh, version, long-term uh, support version, the Zen version, which is uh, the Zen kernel is an excellent kernel. I also I have it installed alongside with the standard Arch kernel, and you can see here the Linux Zen kernel is the result of a collaboration of kernel hackers to provide the best possible kernel for everyday systems. It's particularly useful for desktops and notebooks, I believe, and um, not as much for servers as I understand it. And um, that's a nice tool. Let me close this. Oops. And this is really nice. You can install the Flash 
uh, kernel VirtualBox drivers, NVIDIA drivers, and you can install all relevant codecs by clicking here. You can install the codecs. I have already done that. And uh, that's really nice. Bootloader, bootloader configuration. <coughs> you can click here. And you can reinstall group. You can generate a new group config file. You can repair dual boot with a single click. And that's... Um, it may be quite useful sometimes. So this is really nice, I believe. And... Um, and all in all, this is an excellent KDE uh, Plasma Arch derivative. <coughs> it comes with um, with uh, Paymac, not with Octopi, for installing installing programs via a graphical user interface. Paymac. Uh, I believe Paymac, Paymac is GTQ based and Octopi is QT based. So it would be more natural in principle to use Octopi here. That's what Manharo KDE does. But uh, the developer chose to install Paymac, which is, which is okay. I, let me show you here. You can click here. And this is Paymac. If I don't want to install software from the terminal, I can use, I can do it from here. Let me close this. And uh, you can see here in repositories that there is an extra repository called Revenge uh, Repo. And it has some nice software. You can find uh, them in the Arch user repository, but it's nice to be able to install mm -hmm. it from a more controlled repository, I believe. And then you can see here that Google Chrome is available from this extra repository and, um, and some other interesting and useful programs which uh, such as Spotify. I use Spotify a lot to listen to music, streaming music. And um, so there are some programs that you can install from here. And um, my only suggestion as far as Paymac goes is that uh, K Revenge should also install this Paymac um, app indicator here this one here that indicates when uh, indicates whether um, there are uh, updates available and that's not that's not done you have to do it uh, via the AUR it's something like uh, yaourt minus s if I'm not mistaken, Paymac uh, Tray App Indicator. And then you install that, and then you put um, Paymac Tray App Indicator in the, in the out, auto start uh, option of KD. If you come here to config, let me go start up auto start you see that i have here uh, paymac tray app indicator huh? so i believe this should uh, be installed by default and it's not and also this uh, i i i'm not sure if i can pronounce that uh, why Kakweki, which is quite useful, which is a QT based drop down terminal. You just press F12 and um, the uh, large terminal drops down. I believe this should be 
installed by default as well. It's installed by default in Manharo KDE, for instance. And except for those minor suggestions, I think this, this is an outstanding distribution. I congratulate uh, the developer. It's uh, what he has been doing with OB Revenge and this Revenge family is actually quite impressive. It's very useful and um, I hope uh, he will keep uh, polishing those um, Revenge distros and um, I believe people should pay more attention to those. Of course, OB Revenge is probably the most well-known. Peop some people like uh, that GNOME 2 like desktop environment and can go for the MATE Revenge. And people like me who really like uh, KDE Plasma should consider giving K-Revenge a try.